find out what it's like to be spending a day outside. To a traffic warden, it's just another day. The A10 Great Cambridge Road at the junction with Hoe Lane. They've got uh, roadworks there. 7.30 a.m. in the West End of London. At Epsom at the junction with the High Street. So that is still closed due to a burst water main. 206 Travel News, Scotland Yard. One hour from now, these streets will be jammed with traffic and this young lady will be all dressed up and raring to go, ready to commence a daily battle with the motorist. 20 share check. BP 318, Barclays Bank 460, Boots 227, Blue Circle 466. She works just off Oxford Circus in Ramillies Place, headquarters of 100 of the most unpopular of men and women, people we love to hate. You can eat it hot and you can have it with crouton, you know, little fried bits mm -hmm. of bread. Or you can chill it and instead of cream, use yoghurt. Yes. Right, and a swirl of yoghurt in and you can eat it cold. It's a, really, it's a lovely cold on a warm evening, lovely cold starter. The time is exactly ten minutes past eight. Thank you, Mr Jackson. Your one section postage, Miss Smith. Yes. Beat number two, refreshments, Delta Mike 1010. Yes. Mr Foxton. Yes. Beat number three, refreshments... Delta Mike 1040 and Charlie Delta 1010 on your normal relief. Miss Fisher is posted to school crossing enforcement. Mr Chick is on school crossing also and is away. Thank you. Morning. Postings to three section. Mr Campion? Yes. Yeah. 35B, Bramley's at 16.30. Miss King? Can you see me afterwards? Miss Bowhill? 40B, Ramillies at 10.40. Mr. Robson? 41B, Ramillies at 10.10. Thank you. Um, meter suspensions, there's just one. Beats 10 and 5, Brook Street. All meters for one day for a state banquet. OK, well, I'd like you clear of the building shop. Thanks very much. Where did you go? Where did uh, you go? Pile of rubbish is still in the road. Don't you think we should report it to the Westminster City Council? Yeah, they'll probably send one of their big lorries down for when they're ready. Probably come and do it again, you know. Yeah, more than It looks like being a busy day for Newspeed. For anyone who's travelling into London this morning, you'll know that the cost of travelling by London transport has gone up. To Two million cars come into central London every day. At any one time, a hundred motorists are chasing just one parking metre. And from 8.30 a.m., those who haven't struck lucky are being chased by the Blue and Gold Brigade. You going to move? Yes. Yes, you are. Talking, Just one minute. I want to get down to about five minutes to get to the electricity. Right. There's 25 too. I shall be here, so hurry up, quickly. Excuse me, sir, do you mind moving along, please? What do you mean two minutes? You've been here over ten minutes already. And, uh, the CID came round, okay, a guy in a dirty Mac who'd seen the Sweeney, you know, the kind of bloke. Suppose you think we're all rushing about in cars, beating people up. I'll leave that to the uniform guys, myself. <laughs> and at that moment, he looked out of the window as he was checking for fingerprints. And outside, there was a wasp, a traffic warden, sticking a sticker <laughs> on his windscreen. And he rushed outside and he said, excuse me, he said, what of the yard? CID and showed his identification to the traffic warden, who looked round and said, Yes, and I'm Napoleon Bonaparte. You're still getting done. He drove off into the night and she never saw him again. And it's 9.23. Yes! Here comes Amos! Amos Moses was a Cajun. He lived by himself in the swamp. He hunted alligator for a living. He'd just knock him in the head with a stone. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. Is this your favourite beat? So no, it's not. Why? Well, because it's it's just not nice. I know the people who live here love it, and they say, oh, I wouldn't live anywhere else. And it's, I just don't like it myself. Do you get much trouble in, in a place like St James's Square? No, are, it's are, very... they, are they all gentlemen here? Mainly they're very nice, I think. Uh, the only problems that we do have sometimes is uh, some of the diplomats that are over there. They get a bit irate because they park in the middle of the road. Is this yours? Yeah. Did you know you're parked on a taxi cab rank? 
What's it say there? Yeah, but I didn't talk to some um, the other driver. Is it? Do they pay? I think what they do is they wait till they get a certain amount and then they send in so much. Probably not all. I'm going to do him now. But it says there, no waiting, no loading and loading, no waiting. Whoever's first gets done first. It's as simple as that. There's no, there's no favouritism. I walked in here, yours is the first vehicle, so yours gets done first. You're a little lady, really, aren't you? Yes. Do you, do you get much aggro? No, I don't, not really. Most people feel sorry for me, I think, because I'm small. They come up and, you know, they, they might... You get the odd few that have a go, but I have had occasions where people have stuck up for me against other drivers because I'm small. They come up and said, oh, leave her alone, you know. It's quite good, really. The meter has got jammed. So you've mother. left a piece of paper in it. I've left a piece of paper. If somebody purloins the piece of paper, what happens? Yeah. When I come back, my car won't let have been a car compound. No, well, no, not I'll have to pay 30 odd pounds. No, not necessarily. And I've got no money. I'm a very poor, humble boy. You look it. If you say you're allowed 20 minutes, yeah. okay. You're providing I've seen the driver to begin with, sir. But what, how, how can you see? Don't matter if I've got up to the, what's it? Say it was a building of about 25 floors. How do you think you're going to do that in, what's it, two or three minutes? If he got a ticket in two minutes, there was obviously somebody nearby. Yeah. to give him that ticket. They didn't just appear out of nowhere. Yeah, but... So he should have gone up and said, well, look, I'm going for the call of nature or whatever. Uh, fair but enough. But I've been watching you today. You've been giving them out as if they're running out of fashion. <laughs> no, I haven't, actually. Well, I haven't done very many at all. Yeah, I don't think you are a real parking. I think you're in drag. <laughs> <laughs> you get yeah. chatted up in this area because you're a pretty, pretty <laughs> lady, aren't you? Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. You get, sometimes you get people who don't say very nice things at all. Not very nice. It's a bit perverted sometimes. Is there ever an occasion when people don't really think you're a traffic warden? Because you don't look like what a traffic warden is supposed to look like. <laughs> mm, I think I know what you're getting at. <laughs> no, they do not ever accuse you of not being a traffic warden, but they do make suggestions because you're wearing a uniform. <laughs> do they? Yeah, well, they, they do. I had one, one gentleman come up to me one day, he wasn't a gentleman really, <laughs> and he came up and said, would I pose for him in my stockings and suspenders and my hat and my shirt? <laughs> And? And I reported him to the police. Mrs Mendes, 8B, school crossing... 10 past 11. Mrs. 50 Dye, wardens are already prowling the area. CD now another 16, batch is 20. briefed to go out there Thank and you. face the music. Oh, no. Parking is Right, lads, stand by your meters. Pencils at the ready. Today, we have the honour of being addressed by the pin-up boy of public transport, smiling Ernie Scrooge. I'd like to remind you, ladies and gentlemen, about time off for attendants at hospitals, dentists or opticians. Whenever possible, outside working hours. I do that with my doctor because it's uh, 10 till 11 and 6 till 7 at night. There's no way you can do it. Right, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Two nights, seven five. Can call me out? Is your name there? Yeah. Will you put it on the back? Oh, it's there. Yeah, just put your signature. Look, I know, but it's very faint. I fake. can go over there. No, you can't. Why? The, the no. top copy is very clear. No, all oh, right, put it on the back. Top copy clear. New recruits are taught the tricks of the trade by an experienced warden affectionately known as their parent. Today, Teresa is playing parent to Mandy. Teresa's parent warden was Harry, and it wasn't exactly love at first sight. Um, I came into the job and he happened to take me out on my first day. And um, I got to know him that way, really. We had to walk through Groven Square, but other than that, I wouldn't have known him, really. And what did you think of him? Well, I thought it was a bit flash, but I got used to it. You know, he seemed quite mm -hmm. human. I thought traffic wardens were a bit starchy. If you don't like the person you're out with, then you won't get on and you won't learn anything. It's just fortunate that, I don't know, that Mandy likes me, don't you, Mandy? Good. Of course. Yes. And um, <laughs> that she enjoys my company, I hope. But if you don't like your parent warden, then you won't learn anything. Excuse me. I'm afraid you can't stop there at all.
I don't know, we get a ticket. Well, um, you do know on this we've, kind of street you're not allowed to be here we've more We've already than... done one load, so we haven't been long, have we? We've only taken it around oh, the corner of the other department. Oh, really? Yeah. Round to St George's, round here. Right. Okay. I mean, we've all got the dinner in there now, we can't do nothing until they tell us what to take, see? Look, that's been round here, we take it if we want. That's what the one behind us. Listen in, mate, you're on top of the traffic lights. Yeah, now it's over the road. I couldn't give a monkey what he's doing over I the road. I know you couldn't give a monkey. The people who are starting in the living this country are going to do you think I'm doing then? Being a shit fuck, that's what you're doing. You don't count. Yeah, that's what you're doing. Yeah, that's what you're doing. I've got three yeah. blokes here that don't know what they're doing of. I've got to look at what they're they breaking things galore, and I don't know what it's all about. Yeah. I've got the responsibility of parking and parking around the other side. I've got the, the responsibility of keeping the, keeping the bloody job going properly. Yeah. I've got two loads coming out of here, and if you say go away, I'll be out. If you reckon that's true, why are you going to find a bad Well, I am. I've got your number, haven't you? No, do you want a phone number or not? I've well, never had no um... trouble here loading before. Yeah. Never had, I've been here for donkey's years coming here, going out. No, have you heard about the uh, people next door that are uh, complaining? What? Where? Oh, nice. Would you like me to write it down for you? You try to sleep at night now. Oh, piss off. Oh. Right, you do realise you're not allowed more than five minutes on a single yellow line, don't you? OK. Go away, you've had your six quid's work. You get your wages right, this week. Mate? Well, yeah. You we'll park on away. top of the lights, what do you bloody well expect? No, you've still got to live with someone, ain't you? You've got to go and sleep at night, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, my house been actually be a traffic warden. Go! <laughs> 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 That's that. right, mate. Did you both live with each other? <laughs> Meeting people like this, so uh, I don't know if I'll be able to cope. <laughs> it puts you off, does it? Uh, well, I don't know. I'm hoping, you know, things are going to get better, but, um, I won't let him upset me anyway, you know. I think in the end I'll just ignore him if they start, you know. Did you expect your first day to be like this? No, I didn't. I'm entitled to in 20 car. minutes on there. I'm entitled to 20 minutes on that. You're only allowed no, five I'm minutes sorry, at the I'm most. I'm sorry, I'm entitled to 20 minutes No, you're not, on madam. Trainee not wardens I'm getting a taste of things to come. I know the rules. Madam, it's about not. time you went back to school and learnt. Now, did you understand what we were trying to get at there? When a motorist comes up to you, and they will, you will try and avoid an argument. Now, Mrs. Hodson, very nearly, I very nearly got her going because she wanted to argue with me and say, I was entitled, I wasn't entitled to be there. I'd only got five minutes. Try and avoid an issue with a motorist if you can. She was nasty because she knew she was entitled to her time for loading and unloading. Yeah. All right, so you must give them their time if you, they can prove that they are loading and unloading. Yeah, but then you can't really blame the warden for starting to write oh, a ticket. no, no. But uh, you've hit me in the pocket now. I mean, it's £10 now, isn't it? If you were um, struck by a motorist and they keep on continuing hitting you, could you retaliate and hit them back? Um, I wouldn't stand by the side of the motorist while they were continuing to hit me. They would only have to land one and I should be away. Well, if you, you know. be because so they've got you the ground or something. <laughs> You can't get up and run then. If they've got you on the ground, then <laughs> I should just I should just get your prayer mat out and pray. Okay, number five lands R O R O W cash. Right, right, right. Calling the minister. Number four four. Roger, four, 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 four. fine, it'll take some time because the traffic is quite heavy. Thank you. I beg your pardon, uh four sixty four. Bring you the street to a They're so selfish. I'm going to try and sort this traffic out. I'm going to hold them back and let those come through because it's a bit of trouble they're getting stuck. That's part of the duties? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Sometimes when you do when you're working, it, it gets too bad because they will start bibbing and no, nothing can move, so it's best to just go and alleviate it a little bit. Do they take any notice? Mm -hmm. I mean Well they take notice, yes. Uh, on the docket 914 script addressed to Adams, centre mate. Lunch break for the early shift. A time of reckoning. How many did you do? Um, well, I did 20 today. 20, that's quite good before lunch, isn't it? I'll be giving you 52 tickets. 52? Since 8 o'clock this morning, yes. You got your 
People get becoming traffic wardens. It Do you has think? changed a great deal in our time. Do you think so, girls? Yes. I think that there's, there used to be a great um, camaraderie amongst the, amongst the old ones somehow. Nowadays, it seems to be the youngsters against the old ones. Mm. You know what I mean? They don't seem to mix all these together. Do you think you know everybody here? Oh, yeah, they call me Mum. Why is that? Well, when they come here and they've got any problems, they come to me. Go out with them. If they have any problems, I say, oh, I'll come out with you tomorrow. All right, then, Mum, they say. Yeah, so, you know, they're just like my kid, aren't they, really, to me? Yeah. The first day on my own, you know, we go out with um, a pair of wards. Was she your pair of wards? Yes. <laughs> and um, I was doing... My first ticket, I did all on my own. <laughs> Ticket on them, I looked all round and I almost ran away. Nobody came, but I was that frightened that somebody was going to come out and stuff. I didn't. I thought I laughed about it, you know. But that first day was frightened on my own in case somebody came and shouted at me. One does get tough after a little while. I know, I don't believe in bossing men about. Still give them a ticket, though. I'll give them a ticket, yeah, but I don't believe in bossing men about. I don't like bossy women. Mind you, my eldest son doesn't like the fact that I'm a traffic warden. He never has. Well, all my children... My youngest son doesn't mind. They're both married. You know. We haven't got one, but... My he wouldn't tell anybody his mum's a traffic warden. What's the daftest thing you've had to put a chicken in? Um, and I've chicken in the glory when I couldn't reach the windscreen. <laughs> how'd, you, how'd you manage? Ask oh, somebody to give me a bunk up. <laughs> It's probably not nice to think that people hate you, is it? Well, you could do another job and they could dislike you. I dislike my dentist because he takes my teeth out. So it's just the same, isn't it? <laughs> Every motorist nightmare, the swoop. It's a combined offensive. Wardens issue the tickets at £10 a time and offending cars are legally broken into and taken away to the pound. Cost of recovery, £45. <laughs> One who got away with just a ticket and a warning. That's my business. I've had 20 minutes, but I can't unload that in 20 minutes. Well, you've not even started. Well, I'm going to stop it. What's that barrel load there? Yeah, well, will you continue doing it then and take it away? Yeah, I'll do it in my car. Yeah. Take it away. Yeah, take it away. Well, you've got to do it in I think what made him more wild, I asked him where his ticket was and he threw it in the bin. Yeah. So he come back and give me the ticket and I've had the times on it. I said, well, you've had your time. I said, you've had over 20 minutes. I said, so, I mean, if you don't want to move it, I said, there's a police officer there to take it away. All they give me is 20 minutes, but she's also put a ticket on it. Now, how am I supposed to unload that get it through the market in 20 minutes with a barrel like this? If you say that to a warden, what's the reaction? It's your problem, they say. Today, we were a bit hot on him today, so... 
it. Do you mind when people are rude to you? It's part of the job. You take it with you, don't you? Are you never tempted to, um, to give as good as you get? You are tempted, yeah, but you don't. Never? Well, underneath <laughs> your breath, you say things. <laughs> but see, you get two like that, see, and they try and wind you up. See? Do you know why they why? Uh, oh, no, I don't know. I'm sure I don't. I think, you see, you get a uniform, they've got a bit of authority, and this, this goes to their head. Well, because, well, when you are dirty, shirt, darling. When I, um, I did soak them, but I can't get that out because they're so old. I mean, I've had these ones for over a year now. I mean, they are going home a little bit, look. I don't fancy, um, directing the traffic with these. One gentleman refused to allow me into his house. His wife and I are friends, and he doesn't want me in there. Even if I'm in my own clothes, my civvies, mm. he doesn't want to have anything to do with me whatsoever. I can speak to his wife outside, but not indoors. Purely because of the job? Purely because of my uniform. Mm. Does that happen to, to either of you? Well, my brother, he said if he'd got a ticket, that he'd put a brick through my window. And that's my brother. <laughs> <laughs> so, You're I mean... close, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, he used to be. <laughs> Not anymore. Say, no. supposed to work in the rain but well, of course when it gets too heavy you just can't write in the rain because the ticket gets no good and the pens aren't no good in the rain they don't write on wet paper then they give you brollies <laughs> i'd love one <laughs> well why don't you bring your own well it wouldn't be allowed not in uniform would it we're supposed to keep up to the police standard in all things conduct work everything. We're supposed to keep up to police rules and regulations and standards. Do you ever feel mean, Joyce, doing this? I mean, it's a cold, wet day. Someone has just stuck their car there for a while. No, I did when I first joined. Uh, but the longer you're in the job, no. There's no waiting, sir. There's somebody else to bother, right? Pardon? There's somebody else to bother. Well, I'm bothering you. Anybody ever got violent with you? Only once, and that was when I was working for JF at St Chinkford. And uh, he threw some sunny lab in my face. You wear glasses. Yeah. Are they ordinary glasses? Well, they have plastic lenses. Um, obviously, if I am hit in the face, they won't smash. They'll just either fall off the face or... Um, they don't. Sh they won't shatter if anybody no. gives you a thumb. No. And what about the, what about these ties? If anybody well, yells at they you, do. They clip on. So if anyone grabs you, they just come off. Right. If I was aggressive and I grabbed your tie, have I mean, would it come off easily? Sure. Yeah, it doesn't come off easily. It does if you yank it. You're right. See? Oh, crack. Uh, <laughs> you just. <laughs> it works. <laughs> you see. So nobody could really really put one Not on you. Not really. So but I don't think they get that far near me anyway. Why? Well, I'm not actually going to stand here and let someone um, beat the crap out of me, you know. Uh, I will defend myself. I thought they didn't get done, the old voices. Oh, yes, they get done. they got an engine and four wheels. No different from an old banger, are they? Really? Well, they're a bit different. No, they're still parked. They're still illegally parked. This one especially. It's parked right across my school crossing, what I'm going to do. If I had a radio, I'd uh, phone up removals and uh, have him removed to the pound. Anybody ever tried to bribe you? Oh, yeah, yeah. What with? Money. Anyone got a black Rolls Royce outside? And it's right across my school crossing, tell him. Very often I've had um, people say, well, take the ticket back, I'll give you three knicker. I suppose it could be done. But there again, you never know who's watching you. So what's three pound against your job? Pardon? Am I 
Pardon? Don't bang on my door. Don't bang on your door. I'm not banging on your door. Do you mind moving off this bag? You're right across my school crossing. Well, most people swear nowadays. It's just the uniform, I think, they swear at, not the person themselves. They think they get the ticket. I think it's just the fact that you're in uniform. They wouldn't swear back at a policeman, but they swear back at us, which isn't fair, really. I don't think they uh, dislike you, because some people say, oh, without you, how would we get along the roads? You make it a bit clearer for us. You know? But um, I think it's because we're taking the money out of their pocket. Doesn't, doesn't get up your nose at all? Oh, sometimes I get a bit peeved about it, yes. But sometimes I have a good laugh about it. I mean, why not? If you can't laugh, uh, jump in the river. You know? <laughs> You've never been rude to a traffic warden? Oh, yes, really. Right. What sort of names have you been called? Oh, everything. The smallest animal to the biggest one. <laughs> Hitler and all that sort of thing. Don't you have a uniform? You're a Hitler. Oh, the fact is, you know, you sort of find a better job. That's the first thing, eh? You should get a better job. There's a yellow peril come along the road. And these, you know, when the footballers are up here, they have a joke with you. Because well, a car parked on your head, they say. So, oh, because we've got a yellow band around it. It's the debutants, well, I think debutants, all the flashing and, uh, you know, Algernon and oh, Colin of Algie and all those sort of things. You know, they come out with some of the horrible words, really, that some that I didn't even know. Big fat co. <laughs> <laughs> no, not. Are you moving? I don't know. Of course I'm to me, you're stationary. Well, no, just a minute. I'm moving. Right, move. You're across the small crossing. You're welcome. You. You're welcome. <coughs> you're welcome. Do you ever get chatted up? When, when you're on the beat? Um, I've been married twice. What do you mean, chat it up? Well, motorists, do they ever... Well, I ask you for dates. Well, I've been married twice. Uh, my first husband died, and uh, I married again. And uh, how I got talking to him was because I gave him a ticket, and I married him. <laughs> That's how you met him? Yeah. And I married him. I must kill them off because now he's dead. <laughs> 52. Thank you. Thank you. 23. Um, 34. Today, in the course of their duty, the wardens of Ramillies Place issued £10,000 worth of tickets. Nobody will ever believe it, of course, but they were just doing their job. I'm actually sorry that I'm getting older, you know, and I've got to leave, really. So, I mean, time's short now, but I have enjoyed it. You know, it's a good life, really.